Hey riders, how's it going? It's Paul with another ride home review with my special with a special guest tonight again. It's my sister Andrea who just moved here from New York City. But tonight we're going to be talking about a different big city. We went and saw Detroit, uh, which was directed by Catherine Bigelow and starred John Boyega, Anthony Mackie, Will Poulter, who we'll talk about in a little bit. And what the movie is about is about uh, the murders of three young men at the Algiers Hotel, Motel, during the 1967 Detroit July, riots. July 25th, 1967. July 25th, 1967. So I guess we could just start with what we liked. What did you like? I like the beginning of the movie with the artwork and the description of what was happening at the time of the segregation of Detroit and why it ended up so segregated from World War I to World War II. I thought that was really important to talk about and to set up the whole idea of what was happening and the riots that were happening for three days straight in Detroit. And that I think the, the hotel was a culmination, was the tipping point for those riots what happened during that time yeah and I, I really liked aesthetically the entire intensity of the movie and the pacing and the way that things got close and disjointed and the way they mixed the the, the fast editing with with the different voices and it really this is probably I would say my favorite Catherine Bigelow movie she's made some pretty decent films but she really I mean, even though she won for The Hurt Locker, th I think this is her best film to date because I thought that she did a really good job at developing the characters, developing the story and creating that intensity. Yes. It was just insane, really well done, and it just had you on the edge of your seat for most of the movie. And Will Poulter, who played the lead police officer, was just absolutely disgusting yes. and so in other words he did a really good job yeah they did an excellent job he really stole the show in that and you hated his guts i'm sure he's probably gonna get a lot of hate mail for his role mm -hmm. but he was he was awesome at it he yeah did a think, good job i think the most intense part with him was his facial expressions more than the words that were coming out of his mouth absolutely i mean that the the scenes were just really good what it, what part of the movie didn't you like uh, it was difficult to watch, um, I forget the character's name, but the, the black man that was there during the whole, witness the whole um, ha happening at the hotel and was arrested and charged with the murder. He was framed and that was the most difficult part for me. Living, being, I can't say I'm a New Yorker anymore, I'm living in Michigan now, but living in New York for 20 years, I've lived through Stop and Frisk, I've lived through Eric Gardner, I've lived through the Black Lives Matter and all of that, and this was really difficult to watch the injustice happen. Well, I'm just gonna be nitpicky <laughs> about the movie, and I thought that uh, it really should have ended a little bit sooner like right after maybe the courtroom scene something like that because i felt like hanging on to one man uh, i don't want to spoil the movie but i just mm -hmm. felt that it wasn't just his story mm -hmm. um so anyway that was the nitpicky part i didn't like uh thing to watch for mm -hmm. is really what andrea brought up earlier is the actor's facial expressions this the interrogation scenes especially were really moving and um, John Boyega's reaction after the interrogation, that's something to really see the, the nonverbals that he was able to, to pull out. So there you have it. Detroit's a very good movie. It can be difficult at time to watch, um, but it's an excellent setup. And like I said, it's Catherine Bigelow's best movie to date, in my opinion. So there you have it. Thanks, Andrea, for joining me on this one. Uh, remember to subscribe to me on YouTube, like me on Facebook, follow on Instagram, all that stuff. And this will be on Anchor and in a podcast near you, as well as YouTube. Thanks. Take care, everybody. Bye.